Good morning, Anderson. Good morning. Well, thank you for conducting our devotional service this morning. We pray the Lord tell the world that Jesus lives. All those who took a part in your praise in the Lord, urging in the Lord's presence, we thank you and may the Lord continue to bless each and every one of you. This is the day the Lord has made. You ought to be glad and rejoice for the Lord is good. And his mercy and truth endures to all generations. The Bible says, let the redeemer of the Lord say so that the Lord is good. We come today to make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye land. We got to serve the Lord with gladness. And come into his presence with singing, know ye that the Lord, he is God. For it is he that has made us and we not ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. We are to enter into the gates of thanksgiving in this court with praise. We ought to bless the Lord again because the Lord is good. His mercy and his truth. Endureth to all generations. Every generation that has been born until now, God has been good. And God is God all by himself. We praise the Lord in all his goodness. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Praise you, the Lord. We ask the congregation now for selection that we continue over our worship service this morning. Jesus.
from a name. Yes, sir. That's where I want to be Amen. when the first trumpet sounds. Yes. And I might be caught up to meet Jesus. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. Our scripture and prayer this morning <laughs> be coming from Reverend Snipes in that order. To God be the glory. Yes. Scripture lesson this morning is coming from St. Mark, Jesus, the 8th chapter, yes. 22nd through the 26th verses. The 8th chapter, 22nd through the 26th verses. Amen. Can you have it say amen? Amen. amen. St. Mark, chapter 8, 22nd through the 26th verses. And it reads thus, And he came, and he cometh to Bethesda. Yeah. And they bring a blind man unto him, and bought, besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. Jesus. And when he had spit on his eyes Jesus. and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw art. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he restored and saw every man clearly. The 26th verse said, And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into town, nor tell it to any in the town. God's word Jesus. for his people. May God sanctify it in our hearts. In Jesus' name, let us bow. Father, there is a fountain. That is filled with love. Yes, 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 yes. Drawn from a man who was vain. Yes, yes, yes. Sins plunged beneath the flood. Yes, yes. Lose all their guilty stain. Yes, yes, yes. It's again and again, Heavenly Father. Yes, as we come before thine divine throne of mercy, yes, where you have promised to hear yeah. and answer our prayers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We come this morning, oh God, yeah. Yeah. with thanksgiving in our hearts and praises on our tongues. Yeah. Lifting up the name of Jesus. Yeah. There's no other name that we can call but thee and thee alone. Yeah. We come this morning, God, yeah. guilty and Yes, but we ask you, Father, to have mercy. Have, mercy. have your way, God. Let yeah. your will be done. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord, we thank you yeah. for the privilege and opportunity yeah. to stand between these consecrated walls yeah. 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 one more time. Yeah. Lord, we thank you yeah. for this day. Yeah, for you said in your word that this is the day yeah. that the Lord has made. Yeah. We shall rejoice yeah. and be glad. Yeah. We come, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for our pastor yeah. on today, oh God. Be you, God, in Jesus' name. 
to keep them full of the armor of God. Yes. Lord, we ask you to bless him in a mighty way. Yes. Not only him, God, but his family, Lord God, yes. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Ask you to have your way, Lord. Yes. Let him in your rich treasure. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Then, Lord, I ask you to remember, Lord, yes. Reverend Austin. Yes. Lord, we ask you to bless him, God. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord God. Let your will be done, God. In the name of Jesus. Not only him, Lord, but bless his family, Lord. In Jesus' name. Then I ask you, Lord, to be so pleased to remember Evangelist Simmons. We ask you to bless the Lord. Touch her right now. From the crown of her head, Lord, to the
come to God our Father, the one that gives us our daily bread, Jesus Christ our Lord, our Savior and Redeemer, the Holy Spirit, our Teacher, God, Counselor, Comforter, Keeper, and Empowerment for the Church. It's good to be here. Amen. To have everyone on post, ministers, deacons, trustees, and musicians. It's good yeah. to be in the Lord's house. Yes, sir. We thank God for you and for what you're still doing for the kingdom of God. Amen. You ain't doing it for the pastor, no matter, but you're doing it, working out your own soul. Yes, sir. Salvation. Amen. Don't bury your time. Make good use of what God Amen. has given you. Amen. Glorifying his name yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Because everything we're working after, we're going to leave it behind. Amen. It's what we do for the Lord that's, right. that's going to determine that's right. <laughs> our outcome. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. What you do for Jesus. The Lord is to be faithful unto death. And I'll receive. Hey, but I can't eat shit. A crown of life. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. In Mark the eighth chapter, where the Spirit of God has led us again, we want to read. Verse 23 to, well, it ain't long. It's not that long, is it? We can read verse 22 through 26. Is that all the Bible reading we gonna get this week? No. <laughs> is that all the Bible reading we gonna put in this week? Praise the Lord. The word of God began reading in the Gospel of Mark, the 8th chapter, beginning with the 22nd verse. My brothers and my sisters, let us begin reading. And he cometh to Bethesda, and they bring a blind man to him, and they saw him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, Anything, that's what it is. Oh. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. And after that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go to the town, nor to tell it to me. Let's read verse 25 again. After he had put his hands again upon his eyes, and he made him look up, and he was restored, and then saw every man clearly. In need of an extra touch. Yeah. In need of an extra touch. Jesus. Yes, sir. Master, keep them. That's what the Lord said. Amen. In tongues. Amen. In need of an extra touch. Master, Casta, Paca, Larakista. That's what he said in tongues. Amen. In need of an extra touch. Master, Casta, Pa, Larakista. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's coming in, you Interpretation is coming in. And I thank my God. Little by little, the Lord giving us a little bit more. Yes, sir. And it's going to get greater and greater. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Eyes will be open. Be able to see into the hey, spiritual. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Lord. I'm striving for it. Hey! Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Let us pray to our eternal Father. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. You said, go teach the gospel of all creatures. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved. 
He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in thy name. Yeah. In thy name they shall cast out devils. Yeah. They shall speak with new tongues. Ramashi. Yeah. They shall handle serpents. If they drink any thing daily, it will not hurt them. And they shall lay their hands upon the sick. Yeah. And they shall recover. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, thank you for the signs you, that's already beginning to follow. Oh, yeah. There's so much hurt to be. So much disease and so much sickness. Lord, we want you to know that we believe in thy word. Help us to position ourselves that you might step in our heart, soul, and spirit. Step in our mind by faith and begin to walk this earth as you did, Lord. Laying the hands upon the sick and they were healed, Lord. You have given it upon the church, Lord. We come surrendering our mind, heart, and soul unto you completely, Lord. Because it's not by might or power, but it's by your spirit. And we ask now that you come and be our teacher and our preacher. Guiding us into all truth. For your word says, if any man coming after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross. And follow me. We deny self, Lord. And we come down on our knees and our hands lifted up, Lord. And our soul and our spirit given unto you. Denying self to follow Jesus. Have your way, Lord, in this place. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Please. In my soul. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, interpret this passage of scripture that Jesus heals some people or sickness gradually over a course of time. But let us keep in mind Jesus is not weak. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Not weak but powerful. And he knows when dealing with mortal man that he has lived with so many fears. Mortal man has lived with so much disappointment and doubts over the years. Is weak. The flesh, the mind exposed to the world, and, uh, the things of the world, and what the world presents to one to make you happy and have joy. Exposed to things that the enemy presents before you. Yes, the world has damaged many minds today. Uh, of things that we need to make us happy. The mind exposed to so many things is in need of an extra touch. The spirit is always willing, but the flesh is weak. I believe there is a lesson here. I believe Jesus heals this slowly, heals this man slowly to demonstrate how it is with people who are slow to believe in him. Just can't see spiritual things clearly. Yeah, the mind is not open to the scripture. Not open to believe the scripture ultimately as the word of God. Not open to change or reason. Refuse to reread their Bible and to pray. Refuse to study God's word and to research and not open to discussions of truth. Even the disciples, after seeing the miracles of Jesus, including his resurrection, were blind and doubtful at times to some of his teaching. 
But as they spent time with Jesus, they began to see things clearly. In other words, he kept touching them with his teaching. For they, yeah, and that includes all of us today, were in need of an extra touch. And on the day of Pentecost, Jesus touched them with the Holy Ghost and with fire. They were never the same. Uh, the Bible said it turned the world upside down. All because of an extra touch. Let us define the word touch. Touch is when you place your hand and fingers on something and you can feel it. It's like a nice piece of juicy <coughs> fried chicken or fish coming out of the pan and your taste bud can't wait to get a hold of that juicy piece of chicken. Yeah, or fish. And then you touch it and taste it as well. It's hot. Touch is when your body is up against something and you can feel what it is. Touch is to come in contact with something or someone. Oh, brothers and sisters, Jesus is always trying to get in touch with us. Oh, yes, he is. Revelation 3 and 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And even in service right now, he's going to knock on our heart. And a man, boy, girl, open up the door of his heart. I'll come in and I'll sup with him. Right. And he with me. Something in this world is going to deal with you for the day is over. Amen. Lord is knocking mm. on your heart. Yes. You see, John, the sixth chapter, in the 44th verse, Jesus said, no man can come to me except the Father draw him unto me. And I will raise him up at the last day. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is always trying to get in touch with us. You ought to tell the Lord thank you. The question is asked, have you ever felt a touch from Jesus? Have you ever felt the anointing? It is a touch you won't forget. And even after that touch, sometimes you need an extra touch. What is extra? Extra is beyond what is expected more than usual. Everything is extra to deep. Everything so high. Used cars almost cost as much as new cars. In spite of extra luxuries. Some homes cost more because of extra. Swimming pools, cathedral ceilings, and depends on the location in the area and so on. Eating out at restaurants, you can have extra, but extra have an added cost. Yes. Yeah. Extra costs more. Many times I back off the extra because of the cost. I said to myself, I don't need that again. <laughs> I was looking to buy a truck. Yeah, and, and, and looking at the cost, I said, I believe I'll put a more in my old truck. <laughs> extra cost more. I need one, but looking at the cost, I said, Lord, have mercy. But not with Jesus. There's no extra charge or extra cost to Jesus. His love is free. Salvation is free. Deliverance is free. Peace is free. Joy is free. Healing is free. Wisdom is free. Grace is free. Eternal life is free. Jesus paid it all. All we need is faith in God. Come to him willingly. Come humbly. Come in obedience to his word. Jesus told the woman at the well, if you drink from this physical well, you shall thirst again. But if you want some extra, yeah, whosoever drinketh of the Water that I shall give him shall never thirst. You see, the water that I shall give him comes with extra. For well, it shall be in him a well of water, springing up into everlasting life, springing up to an overflow. Is anyone in need 
of an extra touch to thee. Yes, Jesus is the fountain of living water. Yes, the fountain that will never run dry. Yes. And there is no extra cost. He'll give you an overflow. Yes. Oh, come, my brothers and sisters, for in Mark the 8th, chapter the 22nd through the 26th verse, it speaks of a blind man in need of an extra touch. Amen. This story in so many ways characterizes all of us. Amen. You see, in this life, we don't always see or hear everything clearly at first. Amen. Nor do we fuller, nor do we fully understand everything at first. Sometimes we have to be told some things over and over again. For instance, what times does Sunday school start or worship service and read your Bible every day? And so many today don't understand that Jesus is the only way into God's kingdom yes, and have heard it proclaimed many times that Jesus is the way, the truth, and life, but many don't accept it. Some don't believe Jesus is coming again, coming for a church without spot or wrinkle, and I've heard it many times. But the word of God says in 2 Peter, the third chapter, in the ninth verse, the Lord is not slack, the Lord is not slow concerning his promise of coming, as some man counts slackness, but he's long-suffering toward his design and every man coming to repentance. So many today, yeah, have heard that the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life yeah. through Jesus Christ. Yeah. But look at the condition of the world today. Yeah. So much shooting, so much killing, confusion, so much violence, violence spreading like wildfire. Yeah. Terror is in the land. Yeah. Same-sex marriage is spreading. Very little trust today among people. I said, Lord, we stand in need of another touch, an extra touch, yeah. something to shake us out of sin, and something to shake us out of sleep into the truth of God's word. For the wages of sin is death. Yeah, yeah sin brings decay among society. Sin brings destruction among society. Spring will se sin will separate you from God. Yes, the wisdom of sin is death, yeah. but the gift of God is eternal life yeah. through Jesus Christ. Well, now in the 22nd verse says, And he cometh to Bethesda, and they bring a blind man unto him, and they sought, in other words, they begged him to touch him. They mean a group of people who knew Jesus and perhaps saw the power of Jesus move, yeah, to open the eyes of blind people. This group had some faith in Jesus' ability to heal the sick. This group was concerned and had compassion for the blind man. They begged Jesus just to touch him. Oh, brothers and sisters, it's a blessing to have compassionate friends. Yay. Friends that will look out for your best interests. Yeah. Friends that will intercede on your behalf. Yeah, friends that will lead you into the right direction. Friends that will lead you to Jesus. Friends that will stick with you. Friends that will do you good and no harm. Oh, how I pray that we all could become friends. As these friends brought the blind man to Jesus, yeah, he took the blind man by the hand and he led him out of town. In other words, he led him on the outskirt of the town. Yeah. And then he had spit, good God of mine, yeah. on his eyes yeah. and put his hands upon him. He asked him if he saw all. Yeah. Can you see anything? Yeah. Jesus went outside the town limit with this man. Yeah. Now the question is asked, why did Jesus do that? Need Jesus, he never did things for sure or popularity. He's real yes, sir. and his power yeah. is real. Yeah. yeah, he does not 
do things to be seen. Amen. Yeah, all for sure. Amen. It is to let people know God is among his people. Yeah. I believe Jesus took the blind man out of town to avoid drawing a crowd. Right. Yeah, mainly people who wanted to see Jesus work a miracle. Yeah. And from those who only wanted their physical body healed, but they were not concerned about their lost soul. Yeah. Nothing wrong with wanting a healthy body. Yeah, yeah free from disease and pain. Yeah. Third John, second verse, said, Beloved, above all things, I desire that you be, that you prosper in being good health, even as your soul shall prosper. I want you to know this morning, Jesus want us healed, and he want us healthy. That's why he was wounded for our transgression, yeah. and bruised for our iniquities, yeah. and the chastisement of our peace is upon him, and by his stripes, we are healed. Yeah. But Jesus also had a message from on high. He had a message for lost souls, yeah. and the message is, you must be born again. You must be washed in the blood of the Lamb. You must repent and confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So many of yesterday and today want the blessing. They want the healing and they want the miracles. But miss the message of eternal life. Jesus took him out of town. I said there's a message of eternal life. Because once they leave this side... We need somewhere to lay our head. Oh, yeah. Jesus took him on the outskirt of town. Jesus asked him, did he see anything? Right. Well, the blind man looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. He saw forms and he saw images, yeah, of people moving yeah. as he looked up. You know, just like when we wake up in the morning, and they got sleep in our eyes. And you got to rub the sleep out your eyes before you begin to see plans. You begin to see images. And some of us have to go and begin to wash our eyes before we can really see clearly. This man looked up and all he could see was images. Or praise the Lord. Mm. So what did Jesus do? The 25th verse says, after that meeting, after the first touch, he put his hand again upon his eyes and made him look up, and he was restored. He was restored, and he saw every man clearly. Yes, and he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go to the town, nor tell it to any man or anyone in the town. Uh, Jesus knew this miracle would draw a crowd and his teaching ministry, yeah, would come to an home. He wanted to be able to do more teaching. But if this man went back to town and spread the word, people would be coming looking not uh, for teaching uh, of what Jesus had to give them through the word of God. They would only be coming looking for their body to be healed and the soul would not be changed. So he charged the man, don't tell anyone of your healing. You see, teaching is very important to Jesus. Yeah. Teaching reveals truth. Yeah. Teaching takes you to another level of understanding. Yeah. Teaching of God's word brings you to the knowledge of God. And knowledge is power. Yeah. And knowledge of God reveals to us who the real enemy is. Yeah. Knowledge of God's word of truth will move you into supernatural arena with the Lord. Yeah, it is the truth that will set you free, destroying the yoke that binds and draw you into a supernatural walk with Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the blind man needed an extra touch, an extra touch to be healed. And such as uh, life today. Uh, some people uh, are fragile. Uh, some people are frail uh, and weaken uh, their faith. Uh, some uh, lose hope uh, in spite of their faith uh, 
in God. Uh, you yeah. see, uh, the journey of life uh, become a great struggle sometime. Uh, and along this journey, uh, if you're not careful, uh, you can lose hope uh, along the way. Uh, and uh, some have very little hope uh, or no hope uh, at all. Uh, and every now and then, uh, they need uh, an extra touch. Yeah. Some uh, are real sensitive. Uh, yeah. Oh, pray the Lord. Yeah. Uh, they don't mean to be sensitive, uh, but God uh, made them that way. Uh, yeah. They need uh, an extra touch. Uh, some uh, have been hurt uh, on this journey uh, so bad. Uh, some have been traumatized uh, and some have been victimized. Uh, many have been abused uh, and insulted. Uh, they have been harsh words uh, and they can't seem uh, to break away uh, yeah, or shake away from uh, the words uh, that were spoken into their life. Uh, these spirits uh, have put them uh, in a sensitive matter uh, and they need uh, an extra touch. Uh, parents uh, with children uh, that have more than one children uh, know that every child uh, is not the same. Uh, some are strong and some are not so strong. Uh, yes, yeah, some uh, can catch on faster than others. Uh, but there's usually one uh, among all your children uh, that needs a little bit more care. Uh, needs uh, an extra touch. Uh, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, Peter uh, needed an extra touch. Uh, but he denied knowing Jesus uh, three times. Uh, and the Lord found him. Uh, he was crying uh, but the Lord found him and said, Peter, do you love me? Peter, feed my sheep. Oh, pray the Lord. Thomas, doubting Thomas, needed an extra touch. Even after Jesus rose from the day, he said, I refuse to believe until I can put my hand in the nail print of his hand and put my hand in the hole of his side. Oh, praise the Lord. But here come Jesus, knowing Thomas needed an extra touch. He walked to the wall and he said, Thomas, stop your doubting. Put your hand in my hand. Hit a hole in my side. Put your hand there, Thomas. David, King David, needed an extra touch. When he found himself bound down in sin and even murder. He had another man killed for his wife. But he found himself needing an extra touch. He said, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renewing me the right spirit. Please don't take the Holy Spirit from me. And Samson, he found himself, he needed an extra touch. After the Philistines put his eyes out, after he told the law all his secrets, and the Philistines took Samson up to the arena. Yes, they did, and they mocked him, and they made fun of Samson. They were taunting him and teasing him, and Samson made up against the pillar of the arena and told a young man yeah place me on the post that hold up the arena I got to talk to God I need him to touch me one more time he said Lord I'm sorry for what I've done but if you touch me restore my strength I need and it's to touch, touch me, Lord, one more time. And the Lord restores strength. And Samson ripped down the pillar. And all the Philistines, over 3,000, were destroyed. All because he needed an extra touch. And every now and then, when I'm at the crossroad of life, every now and then, I find myself at the crossroad of life, down in the valley of decision, 
wondering which way to go. And then in this virus, this pandemic, I was at a crossroad. I was wondering which way to go. Lord, which side to turn? I don't know what to do. I cried out to the Lord because the Bible says in Psalm 34 15, the eyes of the Lord upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The righteous cry and the Lord hears their cry and deliver them out of all their trouble. What should I do? The Lord said, Move forward. Oh, praise the Lord in the middle. Then death is all around me in the middle of a pandemic. Wondering which way to go. But the Lord lift me, breathe on me, touch me, and curb me, and help me to stand in the middle of the storm. Fred with my heart, but I stand on the rock of my salvation. Because Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. I need an extra touch. If you need an extra touch, the Lord will touch you. Anybody need an extra touch? Yeah! Yeah! He'll touch you. He'll touch you. He'll touch you. With grace and mercy, He'll empower you. He'll move there from your heart. He'll keep His angels all around you. If you need of an extra touch, say, Lord, touch me. Touch my family. I need an extra touch. Touch my wife. Touch my husband. Touch my son. Touch my daughter. I need an extra touch. Every now and then, I cry out, Lord, touch this ministry. Touch the church. Touch all the members. Touch their families. Touch this community. Touch our nation. Touch our leader. Because he stands in the need of an extra touch. Touch my body. Because every now and then, my body is racking the pain. I need an extra touch. Pray the Lord. Trouble in my home. I need an extra touch. Anybody need an extra touch? Touch my heart. Touch my mind. Touch me. Over and over again. Touch me with your grace. Touch me with your mercy. Touch me with your healing power. Touch me with a fresh anointing. Because the anointing destroyed the yoke. Anybody need an extra touch? Cry out to Jesus. He's more than willing. And he will to touch it. Touch it. Touch it. With an extra touch. In the time in which we are living, we need a touch from on high. We need an extra touch. Over and over and over and over again. There's so much going on today. And death is moving. I say moving like I've never seen death move. It don't matter how old you are, but death is moving. And we need to be in touch and an extra touch from the Lord. And God is more than willing to touch us over and over and over again. Sometimes I find myself at a crossroad, but I thank God for the extra touch. He'll lift you up from where you are. He'll encourage your heart. He'll move upon you and breathe a fresh anointing on you all the time. If you God children, you be his people, God will be your God. Bless the Lord. All I need is a touch. Yes. From I need it. All I need is a touch. Yes.
Bible says he confessed our mouth, Lord Jesus. Yes. Believe in our heart that God read us from the day. That God should be saved. The Lord may be touching someone's heart right now. That you come and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We invite you that you come. Jesus said, Come ye unto me, all you that live and have laid me. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I'm meek and lowly in heart. You'll find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy. And my burden is light. The Lord has many touches. And he has touched his people over many times. He cried out to those and touched them. Many times he had restored the Israelite nation. And many times he had restored leaders that was leading, that fell weak along the way. And the Lord breathed on them, just like he breathed on the valley of the dry bones. He asked Ezekiel, Ezekiel, can these bones live? Ezekiel said, Lord, I don't know about you, though. And God began to breathe, giving the people hope. And they began to come together. So our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. We dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock we stand. Because all of the ground is sinking sand. As we go to God in prayer. I don't know about you, but I'm in constant need of a touch. We think about our brothers. We think about Deacon Hamilton. And we think about Evangelist Simmons. We think about Reverend Austin. We think about Dietrich Manigold. We think about all the sickness within our church family. Our heart goes out. Many in pain and have been sick a long time. We do not know all the weariness that they contend with every day. Lord touched them because they're in need of an extra touch. We in need of an extra touch. Look at the news. The news is so disturbing. Yes, Can't even watch it day in and day out. Need an extra touch. Sons and daughters seem to be going astray. Lord, touch my daughter. Touch my son. I don't want the soul lost. I don't want the soul lost. Touch him, Lord. Before it's too late, turn him around. They need an extra touch. So we cry out to the one that is evil. Fix them. Turn them around. Don't give up on your children. Keep them before the Lord. I don't care how dark it look. Ask the Lord to touch them. Touch their heart. Touch their heart. Intercede for them. Cry out from the depth of your soul. Let us pray. God, eternal Father, we yearn. We yearn, Lord. We cry out to you that you might touch, Lord. Touch within this church family, Lord. Touch our ministers. You know their name, my name. Touch our deacons, our trustees, Lord. Touch their hearts, Lord. Touch them with your power. Touch them with your wisdom, your knowledge, and understanding. Touch them with your strength, Lord. Deacons, trustees, touch our musician. Anoint her afresh, Lord. All our members and all those that in ministry, touch them, Lord. Touch the voices of those that sing. Lord, use them for your glory in the name of Jesus. Oh, how our community need a touch, Lord. How our young people need a touch, Lord. Oh, how we need a covering everywhere they go, Lord. The marketplace highways and the byways in the schoolhouse. We need your angels to camp all around them. Touch them, Lord. Touch their heart. Touch their heart. Who knows the heart but the Lord? The heart is desperately wicked. Who can control it? Who can change it but Jesus? We cry out to you, the one that's full of love and compassion, that you move in miraculous. Move in this place right now. Move, move. Move like only you can move upon our hearts. Bring us into our understanding of truth and what is right and pleasing in the eyesight of God. We thank you for how you've been. You've been good to us, brought us 
from a mighty long way, Lord. You've been in the valley, you brought us out, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we didn't know how we were going to make it, but you made a way, Lord. Keep bread on our table, Lord. Shut over our head. Allow us to pay our bills. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we need you have a job right now. Prices are so high, Lord. It is continuing to rise. Oh, God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us for our sins and our transgressions. We cry out to you. Lord, touch our leaders. Touch them, Lord. Like only you can, Lord. Touch them like you touched the blind man, Lord. Touch them like you touched my soul one day, Lord. And lift me from where I am, Lord. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Anointed me, Lord. Encourage my heart to run on touch like you touched many of these people who are not the same. Many of them are not the same, Lord. They got a changed heart. They got a changed attitude. They got a changed demeanor, Lord. They want to walk with you. They want to praise you. They want to worship you. They want to to serve you, Lord. They want to live you with all their heart. They want to start out brand new, but they need a touch from you, Lord. We want a fresh start, fresh anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, thank you for keeping my family and many other family, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You didn't have to do it, but you did, Lord. You didn't have to keep us. Lord, we cry out for those who have lost their ones in the pandemic. God, we need you so much, Lord. Please, Lord, please, please, don't turn a deaf ear to our cry as we cry out to you, Lord. We know you're merciful and gracious, and we come to you, Lord, by now surrendering all to you, that you would guide us and be our shepherd. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Mm. I was down in sin one day
praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Yeah. Sister Young, you got the little grandchildren shot. And that's how the older folks used to do back in the day. They had the little grandchildren chair right around me. And they're singing this shouting too. Training them up. That's a blessing. That's good to see. Good to see, Grandmama. Praise the God. That's how I remember when I came up, the older folks. Cheering right around me. Shouting, praise the God. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Oh, Lord. It's good. It's good. We thank God for you all. We pray God blessing upon you all. Be careful out there. May the Lord keep you covered and sustained under the blood of Jesus. Build a fence around you and your family. Wherever life travel take you, take Jesus with you. Let the church say amen. Jesus, let the saints of the living God let us all now sing together. Oh. 